Pushing hot strategy and plans to make grand. Still in my wife beater. Batman pajamas. I'll slide. And about five hot picks for the day. Cause I like the way the dial bounces. Four hot dips on call. So I got options. Two with a lot of volume. One with a double bottle. Now I know dumb money don't understand. Am I talking about my trade or just thinking with my Mac D? You see, we different in the way we move. You move with kittens and your dog. I move with bears and bulls. I got a green thought. Grow with the marijuana. Waking up with the fun Oh, some time. Jump out of bed, big profits. Eat my bacon and eggs, big profits. Light up watching them man, big profits. While I'm still in my sand, big profits. They used to watch me move them past me. Now I watch moves in the NASDAQ profits. Used to run from the ATF and them cops. Now I run down ETL, make profits. I jump out of bed, big profits. Eat my bacon and eggs, big profits. Light up watching them man, big profits. While I'm still in my sand, big profits. See me and Jim Cramer been talking mad money. He said today I'm taking a risk. They got the feds coming, but I got support here with. I call a short squeeze. You get the drop, she pull the trick and abort these. If she stay on my watch list, I might have to wife her. But I know better. I'm a true trading group lifer. Call up the Wolf of Weed Street. It's time to flip some profits. Go ahead, be hawking. I'll up. Get your spot here. I'll double top that but in the head and shoulders. Hit them up with this resistance. Watch them roll over. Cause I see John Wicks in contract. If I say I make a million a day, well, that's a large cap. You moving out, that's why you get crossed, get split, get delisted, and knocked off. And I'm setting the whole block off. I'm buying gang stocks and selling them Roblox off. I jump out of bed, make profits, eat 
Keep my bacon and eggs profits Light up watching them handle profits While I'm still in my same big and profits They used to watch me move them packs and stop Now I watch moves in the NASDAQ crowd Used to run from the ATF and them cops Now I run down ETF hey, my and family profits Hey, go, what we doing, my man? Him make profits Hey, Shug, Mike, what we doing, dog? make profits Yo, Wolf, Professor, what we doing? Him make profits That cheap, cheap, cheap money game Him make profits We some snipers Hey yo, what's up everybody? What's going on folks? Welcome to the True Training Group live stream. Hope you all are doing well today. Hope everybody had a fantastic day. My name is Michael Edward, former award-winning hedge fund trader and now the current head trader at True Trading Group. For those of you guys that don't know, TTG is the fastest growing and highest rated premium online educational platform that is available today. So if you are ready to learn, trade, and profit for real, you have come to the place. Six nights a week, Sunday through Thursday, Sunday through Friday, we go live right here for free. Where myself, other TG Pro Trading moderators, as well as special guests, will drop golden nuggets and give you guys free lessons and analysis and trade ideas that can help you become better traders immediately. So take a moment, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys share this stream on your own social media. Let's reach out. Let's educate. Let's empower as many retail traders as we possibly can. Why should you listen to any of the things that we share on these live streams, any of our analysis or our trade ideas? I didn't figure this stuff out on my own, folks. I began my career working at a fund in New York City. My very first job out of college, then 2008 happened, and that was the Great Recession and the stock market crash. But that's also the same year that I went on to receive one of the firm's Trader of the Year awards. Now, fast forward, I'm the co-founder and head trader of True Trading Group, and along with my team of nine other professional trading moderators and a staff of over 20 people, almost actually closer to 30 at this point, <laughs> we've helped thousands of traders and investors from all over the world, from all walks of life, to learn, trade, and profit consistently. That's why we are the fastest growing and highest rated premium online educational platform. We combine university level trading and investing courses with premium stock market tools, workshops, mentorship on stocks, options, crypto futures on all styles of trading guys. We do day trading, swing trading. We even do long-term investing as well. You see, we take that university level curriculum. We combine it with today's top financial tools that are worth well over $5,000 a year. If you were to pay for them on your own, we also give you access to 10,000 of the teach you members the most educated, helpful, and supportive community of traders you were ever going to find. And of course, you're going to get all the real-time trade alerts from myself and the nine of the professor trading mods that have been able to maintain a cumulative win rate now going on for the last two years of just around 80%. So like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome and make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button and turn on your notifications. Guys, we got a big, big, nice green day in the market today. It's green all across the board. A lot of the pre-market analysis today inside of True Training Group was absolutely spot on. It is one of the main benefits, I think, of being part of the TTG community is that you are going to always know exactly what professional traders are going to do before they actually do it. Every single day inside of the True Training Group chat room, we open up at 7.30 a.m. Eastern, and myself and the nine other mods will tell you exactly what stocks we're looking at. We go over the exact game plan, exactly what we're looking at, exactly what levels we plan on buying and selling these stocks, so you know exactly where to focus your attention. We do a lot of that heavy lifting for you and help you identify what we believe to be the most profitable opportunities day in and day out, and today was no different. Beautiful green day in the markets today. The, the trying to trade of the day today inside of the True Training Group chat room was long. The semiconductor space, AMD, we talked about ASML, NVIDIA, all big moves to the upside today as the markets really surged to the upside. And I want to go over with you guys here today on this live stream how we're able to identify these different levels, how we're able to identify what stocks we believe are the ones that are going to be in play. It's easy to look at a stock after the fact and be like, oh, look, that stock had a big move. But how do you know it's going to make a big move before it actually does it so you can start getting involved in these trades and in these stocks before it is too late? And you can stop looking back and say, oh, I wish I would have, should have, could have and start saying, man, damn glad that I did. I'm also going to be answering a bunch of questions from members. We had a bunch of people submit questions to us and we're going to have an open floor discussion today. 
um, on answering those questions and covering some of the hot topics that are in the markets here today that members want to know about. And then we also have to talk about the game plan for tomorrow because tomorrow, the day before Thanksgiving, can actually end up being a huge day for this market. There is an unbelievable amount of catalysts and economic data that is being released tomorrow. Not to mention Jerome Powell himself is going to be speaking tomorrow as well. The Fed minutes are being released. There's a whole long list of economic data. So we're going to talk about what is coming out tomorrow, what we're looking for, what we expect, and of course, how we plan on making money from it. So without any further ado, I want to go ahead and bring on my business partner and co-founder of True Trading. Everybody give a big warm A-yo to Adam. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? How are you doing today? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Big shout out to the, the guys over at Trader TV Live and anyone that is joining us from Trader TV Live. If you guys are joining us from that YouTube channel, I was interviewed on the on their stream today. It was always a good time. It was our pleasure. It was fun to do it. Look forward to it again. And welcome anyone that's with us here today that's from Trader TV Live. I heard that you got 70 Twitter followers from that more now i think it's now it's like 80. dude what is what is that like how do you feel i don't know i feel like a celebrity do you feel like you have a little bit of clout no not yet i only have like i don't know eleven thousand two hundred followers okay okay all right you'll get there man yeah well you know we'll, we'll get there a little slow, slowly but surely you yeah know? yeah rome wasn't built in a day right that's right that's right you guys can follow me on twitter it's at mike edward underscore ttg Always giving you guys some some good trade ideas, market commentary, and analysis. So you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow there on Twitter at Mike Edward underscore TTG, folks. All right, so yeah. let's uh, let's dive in. I got a list of topics that I want to go over with you. Um, and for those that don't know, I am entrusted to ask these difficult questions. And and Mike, why why is that? Why why do members enjoy it? Uh, when I come on and and ask you these questions, I, I think I think it's because you're you're not a trader, you know, and I I think it's I think you have a lot of the same perspective as someone that's that's you know learning and someone that is um, you know might not have you know the a long list of experience, but could could you know really think about things in a certain way and ask the tough questions and a lot of the questions that you have are similar to the ones that members want to hear and that viewers of this live stream want to hear and i think it's a good way um for us to kind of have that open conversation and really provide some good educational content for people that are trying to learn all right very good first question that uh that's coming to mind right now our first topic right you got a lot of catalysts tomorrow one of which is the uh the fed minutes right? You got the Fed minutes that come out tomorrow. You got Jerome Powell speaking. Um, is there a chance we see the stock market crash tomorrow from, from anything uh, that could potentially be in those notes? Yeah, it's certainly possible. Uh, it's certainly possible. And, and for a couple of different reasons, um, if you get something from, to, let's say you get tomorrow, let's say the jobless claims numbers are lower than expected, meaning the labor market is still extremely tight. That'll be a bad thing for the market. Then let's say Jerome Powell is extremely hawkish when he talks at 1.30 at the conference he's going to be speaking at. Then let's say the Fed minutes come out at two o'clock and the Fed minutes do not indicate any type of a slowdown or any type of a soon to be pause in the rate hike cycle, then you could get downward momentum in the market. Tomorrow is going to be a day where it should be a lower volume day. Today was a very low volume day in the market going into the holiday. It usually is. It's normal. But when you get directional momentum during a low volume day, that could be when you get outsized moves and outsized moves because there's just not a lot of volume on the other end of the trade. What is an, so, outsized, an outsized move? What is like, that? Mean? Like a move that like just, just, is bigger than it should have been a move so, like, that uh, so, so comparable not the same thing but comparable to a light volume low float stock that all of a sudden gets a surge of volume yes yes yeah that's a good yes that's a good analogy yeah, where there, now, there's just, now, there's just now, now who's learning there you go <laughs> so just be if you get you know computer algorithms let's say that get tripped on for either be buying or selling and there's not a lot of volume on the other side of the trade that's how the, the market can actually make a much bigger move than people expect it to make because the volume is so low going into the holiday. 
Um, so yeah, sure. There are certain scenarios that could result in a, in a, in a little bit of a crash tomorrow, but it's going to be based on all of this data. I'm not calling for a crash tomorrow. I'm not, you know, I'm just going to react to the data because there's so much happening tomorrow that I'm going to try to just react to it, not try to predict it. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's what you've been saying for quite some time is that this is really the time to, um, to react to these markets and not predict it. And, um, have you seen a change in that though? I mean, you know, now that, you know, this last CPI is not, uh, the last CPI data and PPI data that came out, we're, we're pretty consistent across the board as far as everything kind of going down, not just one area. Do you think that that's the start of a return to, to normalcy or to being able to be a little bit more predictive? Yeah, I do. Um, because once inflation gets, gets under control, it's the CPI numbers are not going to be like massive market moving events anymore. You know, when you go back, if you go back to before COVID, when CPI numbers were released, um, you know, w- when, when CPI um, numbers, excuse me, when CPI numbers were released before COVID, it had no impact on the markets whatsoever because inflation numbers were, were under 2%. You know, it was like 2018, 2019. I mean, inflation was like 1.7, which is actually under the Fed's target of 2%. So it, they were not market moving events at all. It just so happens that now that inflation is eight, nine percent, now seven percent is now it's a market moving event. Eventually, once inflation gets back under control, it'll stop being a market moving event. And then the market will be focused on on unemployment, jobs, numbers and earnings as the U.S. economy tries to stage off of recession next year. So eventually you will get to a point where there will be more predictive type of movements. Got it. So, So for tomorrow. Is this is this normal for Jerome Powell to speak the day before Thanksgiving, or is that just the way it works out this year? Or what, what is your take on that? You know, this is just it's not like a um, it's not like a Fed a Fed event. He's just speaking at um, I forgot the name of it, some kind of institute, it's just like a conference that he was he's a guest speaker at, and he's going to be giving a speech. And I'm sure people will be asking him questions. It, it just happens to be that this year, not right. something not something that always happens now. Okay. Um, all right. Well, you know, hopefully he remembers, you know, you know, who he works for, you know, (laughs) um, (laughs) with that said, so, so just to, just to recap, it is possible that we could see a little bit of a, what, what would you have to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand what would we, I mean, the CPI data was good. What would you have to see in those notes or I'm sorry, in the minutes for, for this to, to, to like, what would we have to see tomorrow that would kind of cause that to happen? That what, what would I have to see to cause the markets to go down? Or Yeah. What are you envisioning seeing that, that would cause a little bit of a, of a crash tomorrow? You know, it's going to be, it's going to be kind of, you know, interesting there because, you know, the, the CPI data came out after the Fed meeting. So these minutes are not going to really reflect CPI being lighter than expected, PPI being lighter than expected. These, the, the Fed meeting was prior to the CPI print and the PPI print. So you're not really going to see any of that in the minutes. So really the only thing that I think in the minutes that could really cause a a significant crash in the markets would be if the Fed just kind of is in agreement that, yeah, let's do 75 basis points at this meeting and most likely 75 basis points at the next meeting um, and just show that they're really not even thinking about slowing down the, the pace of their hike which does not seem to be the case when you listen to some other members that are some other members that are talking. So, but that's, that would be the indication that can make the markets move to the downside. The markets have been rallying for the last two weeks because the markets believe that since inflation's come down, they think the fed's going to give you 50 basis points in December 
and then maybe 25 basis points in January, which means the Fed is drastically slowing down the pace of their rate hikes. They gave you several 75, 75, 75 basis point rate hikes back to back to back to back. Now they're going to start to slow that down. So well, that's if you're hoping that they slow it down, they've given no other indication that they're going to slow it down. They haven't. They, they, they really haven't. But that's what the markets are moving to the upside um, on the back of. And, and that that's what the markets are believing. So it would really have to be something severe in those minutes that would really, I think, give you a, a significant you know, crash or a really big red day in the markets tomorrow. And, and that would have to be backed up by Jerome Powell himself, because this is going to be the first time Jerome Powell is going to speak publicly since the CPI and PPI numbers came out. Now, you know, Jerome Powell is very happy about the CPI and PPI numbers. They were under expectations all across the board. So he's going to be very happy about that. So let's see how happy he really is. What is he going to say about it? You know, because the Fed has been very clear that they want to see multiple consecutive months of lower inflation in order for them to feel like they've got inflation under control. You just got one month. So let's, let's, the markets are going to want to hear from Jerome Powell. How excited are you based on the inflation data that you've seen? Is it like, Hey, yeah, this is really promising. It looks like things are working. We're in good shape. Or is it, ah, yeah, that's one number. That's not enough. That's the kind of vibe that that's the tone that the market is going to try to get from Jerome Powell when he talks at that conference tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I mean, it's crazy. I don't envision him being, um, I mean, he just hasn't been the bearer of good news for any of this. He hasn't, yeah. but, but in, in all fairness, it's been necessary. You know, he, to an extent. He's, been, he's been excessively hawkish on purpose. He has to be because the fed lost a lot of credibility with that transitory word. Fed lost a lot of credibility and, and not to mention the Fed lost credibility back in 2018 and 2019, even before all this happened, when the Fed said in 2018, we're raising rates, we're raising rates. And then all of a sudden the market crashed 20%. And then Jerome Powell was like, ah, never mind, we're not going to raise rates. And then 2019, he's like, ah, you know what? We're actually going to cut rates again. And then the markets rallied in 2019. So the Fed has really lost a lot of credibility over the last couple of years. And the market just simply did not believe Jerome Powell in July, when you got lighter than expected inflation, um, the markets rallied, you know, bonds rallied, interest rates plummeted. And that was exactly the opposite of what the Fed wanted to see happen. And it was very clear to the Fed that the markets were not listening to, to the words they were saying. So that was the Jackson Hole meeting, which was when Jerome Powell did a complete about face. He changed his tone completely. And he is the most hawkish Fed chairman that you have seen since Paul Volcker in the 80s. And that is very much by design to get the markets to listen, to get financial conditions to tighten and help bring down inflation. And it's accomplishing exactly that. Okay. All right. Well, so what do you think? You think, uh, so, so I guess what I'm taking away from this is yes, anything can happen tomorrow, but it is the l least or less likely scenario that the market crashes tomorrow as opposed to, you know, to either move up or kind of stay sideways? You know, I mean, if you get, I don't know, man. I, I mean, honestly, Adam, I think once the direction is chosen, I think you're going to get an exaggerated move. So you, it may look like you have an exaggerated move to the downside that looks like a crash, because once direction is chosen, there's not going to be a lot of volume on the opposite side of the trade. So it's going to be relatively easy for the market to move in that direction once direction is chosen. And, you know, I don't know how excited Jerome Powell is going to be about the CPI and PPI data. He well, might. Even, 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 even if he's even if he's extremely excited, he's not going to let anyone else know that he's not going to go on there and and do a backflip so that everyone goes out and spends a ton of money for the holidays. and Right. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Because Jerome Powell knows that as the data comes in favorable, financial conditions are going to loosen. They already have. You've had the largest one-week drop in mortgage rates since 2008. So you've had, I mean, obviously mortgage rates are still very high, but you've had the biggest drop in one week since you saw in 2008. So that right there is a sign financial conditions are easing. 
bonds have rallied. The 10 year treasury is back to three, seven. It was at four, three, right? So these are, these are, these are proof. These are examples that financial conditions are easing. That's not what the fed wants. The fed wants financial conditions to stay tight. So it very well be that the fed, even in the face of good data may try to put on a very hawkish front and keep that hawkish mask on to try to keep the markets honest and keep the markets in check even though the markets think, yeah, you can say what you want, but this data tells us that you guys are going to be done raising rates and the markets can still move to the upside. So that's the balancing act that Jerome Powell has to play. And that's why they've walked out all of these Fed members over the last couple of days to try to tell the market, no, 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 we're still hawkish because of the better than expected inflation data. And that's the balancing act. So, you know, I think tomorrow could be just a uh, just an example of a low volume day that once direction is chosen, you could get an outsized move. And I still do think that that could happen tomorrow. Okay. What What is your outlook for the rest of, you know, just volatility wise for the rest of November? Um, I mean, obviously this week's going to be, you know, tomorrow is going to be the most active of any of the days, if any, um, you know, Thursday, the market's closed on Friday, markets open half day. But what about the following week? And what about going into December? Where do you see volatility going towards the end of the year? I see it. I see it getting cranked up. I see it getting cranked up. Why? Why do you see it? What, what's there? I mean, oh, you have the, what's there? You have uh, the next Fed meeting, right? You have inflation too. So you're going to get, this is going to be, you have a, a, a setup here for the craziest two days to finish out the year that you may have ever had. And that's going to be December 13th is going to be your CPI number. Now, the reason why that number is so important is because that the, the last CPI number you got was so much better than the expectations all, all across the board. So was PPI. But it's not the first time you've had a better than expected inflation number. You had a better than, exp better than expected inflation number back in July. And then August and September, the number was hot and hot again. So it was just a one month, very short lived blip where inflation was lighter than expected. And then it started to, started to, to heat up again. Now you got another situation where inflation is better than expected, but people think this time you're going to get some continuation to that and inflation is going to continue to come down significantly. That number that you're going to get in December is going to either support or completely deny and squash that theory. The market is rallying to the upside right now because everybody believes that inflation is coming down and the Fed's going to give you 50 basis points on December 14th. But that's the key. You heard the dates that I just gave you. The CPI number comes out December 13th. The Fed meeting is December 14th. Now, the last time you had your Fed meeting just a couple of weeks ago, the Fed did not know what the CPI and PPI numbers were going to be because they came out after the Fed meeting you're going to get inflation before the Fed meeting now. So that number is going to tell you that number comes in lighter than expected. It is a surefire lock that the Fed gives you 50 basis points at the December meeting. If that number comes in higher than expected, now all of a sudden it becomes a gigantic question mark. So that volatility that that's going to create around those two days is going to move the markets tremendously. And then that will give you the direction for the end of the year. So I think that that volatility is going to just really go through the roof as you get into the final month of the year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, essentially CPI comes in, you know, at or below expectation and, and you pretty much solidify that Santa Claus rally, man. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I mean, how's that looking right now? I mean, that, that, that looks pretty good. Looks incredible. You've had one hell of a rally off those October lows, you know, November is, is, is working itself out to be so far a great green solid month. And there's still more upside left in this market for that Santa Claus rally. You know, I expect a pullback off the 200 day moving average. That 200 day moving average is a big level of resistance. I actually wouldn't be surprised if maybe like if you have a green day, to, like I wouldn't be surprised if this is what happens tomorrow where you get, you know, a move like this tomorrow, like an outsized move that gives you a move up to the 200 day moving average. And then you pull back off the 200 day moving average, you know, after Thanksgiving and Black Friday and the markets try to stabilize and find their footing 
back at that 390 level and then sit here for a little while and consolidate inside of this range until you get your CPI number. And then if your CPI number is lighter than expected, then you break through that 200 day moving average. The 200 day moving average will kind of extend itself and it'll look something like this. All right. And then you can get a break over the 200 day moving average. And then that would give you that that's the Santa Claus rally into the end of the year. And you get right up into one of these resistance levels. And I would just call it this whole resistance zone, which sits right up here between 410 and 420. And that's where the markets close out the end of the year for 2022, right into a Santa Claus rally if inflation cooperates. And that's what I would expect to get from the markets. So th that's kind of my outlook for the rest of the year. Now, granted, like I said, that inflation number is going to tell the tale. And if that inflation number, I think it's going to come in light. I think you're going to get another month of lighter, lighter inflation. But if that is incorrect, then forget about that. Then you'll be looking at the Santa Claus rally. The Grinch will, will, will steal Christmas and everyone's going to be looking at coal in their stockings, except for those true trading group members that are able to pivot, change that mindset, get themselves into put options and start shorting some stocks going to the end of the year. And then we'll be the ones that are ringing in the new year with smiles on our face. Yeah. Um, what a year it's been for, for true trading group members too, man. I mean, it's been unreal. It, it, yeah. It's, I it's mean, been unreal. it's been, it's been pretty special. I'll tell you that much. I mean, you know, I'm going to talk to, uh, I'm going to talk to our members tomorrow and, and maybe we do some sort of a live stream where we, we bring on a lot of the members that have just like had some pretty meaningful experiences, uh, th this year. I think that's a great idea. You know, members that can kind of talk about their year and, and talk about the milestones and the struggles and the successes that they have had and that they've gone through and the progress that they've made. There's a lot of members in your training group that have had the best years they've ever had as traders in 2022 yeah. and it's been the year of the active trader the volatility has been the highest i've ever seen in my 17 year career i've never seen a year where the volatility was this high for this long it won't last forever eventually this volatility will, will settle back down to a state of normalcy um and it has provided traders like us with just out just tremendous amounts of opportunity day in and day out today was no different yeah no, it's just it's just amazing, man. It's really amazing to see what what people have been able to do, and even the ones that are struggling uh, within True Trading Group, because not every member is is killing it, right? But um, even I, you know, I talk, you know, we we spend a lot of time, you know, we spend a lot of time, you know, in in the in the trenches with these people, talking to them, and and the ones that are doing well, and the ones that are struggling, you know, all the same, and. And even the ones that are struggling are like, you know, they still have this sense of like, I can do this. I'm getting better. I'm losing less. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, it's just, it's, um, it's just a pretty special feeling, you know, yeah, pretty, especially now, right? Like with Thanksgiving coming up, yeah. And, you know, it really, you know, what we've been able to, to build, you know, Adam and I sought out many years ago to create a platform that actually gave retail traders a real chance and real value and real education, not, not the garbage nonsense you see out there that I've got a special secret 10 minutes a day, I'll, you'll make a thousand bucks. Um, you know, but, but real education, real knowledge, real traders, real money, real success real tools and resources that can help you empower yourselves and actually help you guys, you know, be able to do this and, and have success doing it. And to see how far that we've come as a company, I mean, true trading group guys is, is a business and this business exists because of members like those that are with us on this live stream. And there's over 10,000 members in true trading group all over the world. We have representation on every single continent um, from members all over the world. And to just see some of the success and the positive impacts that the platform and the community that's that we've created to see the positive impact that it's had on people's lives is just incredible and i'm just i'm thankful to be a part of that to have such a positive impact on people's lives and i want to thank all the members in true trading group because it's it, it's not possible without you you know the members of true trading group are the most helpful and successful and educated community that you're going to find it, it's not just the moderators that help members members help members and that i think is what makes true training group so special yeah no it's pretty amazing man it really it really really is amazing um you know and i and i say this i, I say this every i think I, I don't know if i say this every year but you know 
we talk about like um you know what are you most grateful for right and you you talk about this type of stuff here um and i guess we can get into this later on or or whatever because i got a bunch of other topics but sure um all right let's talk about oil for a second what's going on in the uh oil and uh, oil stocks energy markets there's been a lot of back and forth these last couple of days about OPEC saying they were going to increase production. Then they said they're not going to in increase production. The White House said that they're going to start to add back to the strategic um, petroleum reserves by buying oil at $70 a barrel. Oil had a big drop to end uh, to kind of end the week last week and to start the week this week. We actually dipped underneath $80 a barrel. We've since climbed back over $80 a barrel. Um, I think it's all noise. You know, I don't expect any long lasting weakness in oil. I think oil is going to really find a trading range between 70 and $90 a barrel. I don't think oil goes back to 110, 120. I also don't think oil goes back to 40 or 50. I think it's going to trade in that 70 to $90 barrel. Now we've been long oil all year, right? Now last year at the end of 2021, I, I published a 16 page report for members of True Trading Group. It was my labeling my number one sector pick for 2022 was the energy sector. I gave guys, I gave everybody a list of stocks, Chevron, Exxon, uh, ConocoPhillips, Devon Energy, Pioneer, Occidental. These are the oil stocks that I bought. These are the oil stocks that I own. And they've been the best performing stocks in, in any sector of any market. You take a look at what Occidental Petroleum has done this year. You take a look at what Chevron has done this year to new all-time highs. You take a look at what Exxon has done this year, new all-time highs. Devin, you look at Pioneer. I mean, these are just, look at Conoco Phillips up at all-time highs. I mean, these are some of the moves that these stocks have made and we own them this year. I've taken some profit off on these positions, but I still own them and they pay fantastic dividends. And I'm, I'm, I have no reason really necessarily to sell these stocks. I plan on holding them at least for another couple of months and just keep taking that dividend and keep reinvesting it and buy more shares. Excellent. Marduk, the meta guy. Um, are you going to do something similar? Yes. Okay. For, yeah, for I'm going to, I'll put out for members the end of this year, I'll put out for members, my market outlook for 2023, what my playbook is for the year. Um, because I think next year without giving away kind of too much here, but I think next year it's going to be a tale of two halves. I think the first six months of the year are going to be extremely different yeah. from the last six months of the year. Save it. You said too much. Yeah. Um, all right, man. So uh, let's see. All right. And before we um, go over some other things, let's touch on Tesla for a second. Okay. Um. A lot of people wanted uh, an update on Tesla. There's a lot of people in chat right now asking me if they should sign up for the Black Friday sale right now. Do not sign up yet. We have to make an announcement about the Black Friday sale. Do not sign up yet. All right. Just let us keep going with the education part. We'll let you guys know in a minute. All right. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah. Tesla um, has really been getting beaten down. Uh, for a couple of reasons. I actually talked about this with the guys on at Trader TV Live today. Uh, we were talking about Tesla. And, you know, th this stock has broken beneath some pretty key levels of support for the stock and is approaching another major level of support for the name. Tesla has really gotten beaten down. A lot of it had to do with China and the factory and the shutdowns and the reopenings and the shutdowns and COVID and COVID and no COVID and COVID and no COVID in China. So that's hurt Tesla. Tesla's also had a lot of recalls um, with their vehicles. That's hurt Tesla. Why? The build quality on those Teslas are second to none. Bro. I know. But the, the, these are these are issues that Tesla has always had. I mean, it's not the first time Tesla said recalls. It's not the first time that China production was, was disrupted because of COVID. And Tesla's stock has gotten through a lot of that before. Unfortunately, what I believe has happened to Tesla is I believe this has become a very emotional trade for people. And I believe that there's a lot of sentiment around this whole Twitter saga with Elon Musk 
And a lot of that sentiment, I believe, has rolled into Tesla stock. And I believe Tesla stock has gotten beaten up um, because of a lot of emotional trading and a lot of sentiment around Elon Musk. And even though Twitter has absolutely nothing to do with Tesla, I do believe that a lot of that has, that sentiment has rolled into Tesla stock. And it's not, Elon Musk is not, you know, selling Twitter. I mean, selling Tesla right now to Elon Musk. I mean, I, I just think that this is a situation where Tesla is, is getting beaten down. It's always been an expensive stock. It still is an expensive stock. But I think if this thing gets to 150, 160, it's got to be on people's lists. It's got to be on people's lists. I mean, you're talking about the flat top resistance from 2020. So when you guys go all the way back to 2020's flat top, there it is. That's a big level for Tesla. And you get back, you're almost back at that level. I would expect if you see Tesla in the 150s, I expect that is going to end up being a great buy, both from a long-term perspective, but also from a swing trade perspective, where I would expect a bounce off that level of at least $15, $20. So I think that's a major level of support that that stock is coming up on. All right. All right. Excellent. So let's see here. All right. Um, How about Carl Icahn still shorting GameStop? I don't know if you saw that today. No, I didn't. Yeah, Carl Icahn is still shorting GameStop. What, you know, what, is, what is the significance there? Uh, not, nothing. It was, it was news today on CNBC because a, a large hedge fund. I mean, Carl Icahn is a hedge fund titan. Um, no, I know who Carl Icahn is. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's still shorting GameStop. And, you know, some people are looking at that. Oh, well, if he's, you know, people are so short, maybe you still get the short squeeze. No. And, you know, I just, uh, that, that no. mother of all short squeeze that everybody has been talking about, it's not going to happen. Um, but you do have a major support level on GameStop at $20. I think you can buy GameStop off of $20 support. But I just feel like I'm surprised that Carl Icahn is still shorting GameStop. I just think that it's, you're just putting yourself in a dangerous situation for no reason. Um, I, I mean, feel like Carl Icahn, I mean, I, you know. Yeah. I just feel like there's just such better places for him to put his money, to put his risk, than to short GameStop. I mean, um, dude, if that's the most risky thing he does, let him go, man. I mean, at least he's not, you know, scam bankman freeding it. <laughs> Hopefully, there's not too many other people that are scam bankman freeding it. Yo. Yeah. Um. I just want to say how proud I am that we never took a dollar to promote FTX on this channel. Yes, we never but did. Despite their many emails to us to have us promote them. Yep, we never did it. Yeah, and it wasn't because we were some sort of... We had some sort of insight or... For yeah, it's not like we knew that it was... No, it was no, 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 no. we just want to promote cards. our own stuff. Yeah. We just want... <laughs> We don't, we don't, we don't, I mean, we've been approached by a lot of other companies, guys, to like promote stuff on our channel and we don't, we just, we just provide you guys with analysis and insight and education and we promote True Training Group. We promote our platform and, and our resources and our education and our community. So yeah, we don't want to bombard you guys with a bunch of ads for a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> yeah. You're going to spend your money. You're going to spend it with me. <laughs> Um, all right, so here's what we got coming up on this live stream. We're about 43 minutes in. Here's what we got coming up. We're going to cover the following topics. All right, everyone listen up. We're going to cover how to know when to move from paper trading to actual live trading. We're going to go over that. We're then going to go over the best ways to trade off of a pullback. Okay. We're going to cover how to recover... <laughs> mental capital from a losing trade and how not to bag hold a losing stock okay all right i like this these are the those first are the time topics, I'm those are the topics that we're going to get into right after we tell you about the black friday sale and there's been some changes to it today which is why i asked that nobody sign up yet
Um, okay. So, where are we at? All right, here we go. So, uh, for those that don't know, we have a Black Friday sale going on right now at your trading group. Okay. And again, we're going to hit the Black Friday sale. Stay where you're at. Don't leave. The second we're done with the Black Friday sale speech, which you guys should really take advantage of, we'll tell you about it right now. Um, we're then going to cover how to know when to move from paper trading to live trading, the best ways to trade off a pullback, how to, uh, how to recover mental capital when you have a losing trade, and how not to bag hold a losing stock. This is coming right up. Just give us five minutes. Stay put. Uh, and hear us out. Before we get started on that, though, uh, we always love to see how many people on here are not true trading group members. If you are not a true trading group member um, right now, go ahead and type the letters TTG in chat. Not a TT, uh, TTG member, sound off. Type TTG in chat right now. Um, we have something real special for you guys, and it's way... it. it Yes, we have laptops. We'll have laptops all week, but this is better than a laptop. All right, we got Dana, HK, Michelle, Ball Sack Skin. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, Pete and Ginger, Desti Methebula, Mark Lavoy, Wiki P, Trin, Twins Crew, Twins Crew Cash. Jesus. Uh, Ryan Parker, uh, I'm joining today. Will I get a one on one with Pops Mike? L, uh, Kenneth Ziegler. Wow, there's a lot. Jamie Ortiz, Rex Brown, Tash Munts, Tuan NGO, X Backed Kenny, <laughs> uh, Ven Ben, Nana Kanadu. Bless you. <laughs> uh, Bill Turpin, Bala. I'm pretty sure Bala is the name of a, of a demon. A demon, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think or you're right, that. actually. Huh? I, saw that. I think I think you're right. I think I saw that in the movie. I did see that in the movie. Um, y'all better have my laptop because I'm about ready to start my exam. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I love ball sack skin says, uh, thank you. I love it when you say my name out loud. I'm just trying to scratch that itch for you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> um oh it's ba it's Bail, not Bala. Bail? All right. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so let's see what else. All right. So a lot of new members on here. Okay. A lot of new members on here or potential new members, but here's what I'm going to do. Our Black Friday sale right now um, is essentially it's 52% 50, off. So our price for two trading group is $2,212 for the whole year. Um, so uh, hang on one second. I'm sorry. Um, $2,212 for the whole year. Okay. What we are doing tonight, um, the test is for Jess is distracting me right now. It's late in the day. My ADHD meds are totally off. All right. Mike, are you typing something? No. Okay. Um, Why does it sound like I'm typing something? Yeah. Or, yeah, it does. But it's, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Um, all right. So here's what we're going to do. 2212 is a normal price. Tonight, when you use coupon code TTG121 at checkout, you have to manually enter the code because when you go to the site, it's going to say $2,212. You have to enter the code and then click apply code. It's going to refresh a bunch and the price will reflect $1,050. For the whole week, we're offering uh, this 52% discount. We have I bought last night, in case you didn't uh, see it, I went out and got 100 laptops. So we have plenty of laptops for the entire week. As of right now, from last night till right now, we are down to 87. 
Okay, we're down to 87 laptops. As the week progresses, they will pick up. Everyone waits till the last minute. Um, but uh, but I expect this to pick up, if not tonight, very soon into tomorrow, so on and so forth, right? So this sale that we have is gonna is gonna essentially it's gonna extend till either we hit a hundred new signups or we get till Friday at midnight, whichever comes first. Okay, um, you're gonna get access to everything that we have uh, with that, all of our courses, all of our tools, uh, everything. All right, and Michael go over exactly what that is in a second. Um, but the one thing that I that I did not tell Mike about that you are going to get anyone that signs up on this live stream tonight, what you're going to get. Uh, Joe, can you scroll up for me, please? Keep going, buddy. Right there. Can you highlight what that says? It says one-on-one -on -one mentor session with Mike or any TTG trading mod. That is only for the people that sign up on this live stream. That will not, the second that we are done with this live stream, we will not offer that again. So if you're on this live stream and you sign up, you're gonna get everything that we have to offer. Mike's gonna go over it. You're gonna get a brand new laptop and you're gonna get a one-on-one -on -one mentor session with Mike or any TTG trading mod of your choice. And there's nine of them. All right. So definitely take advantage of that. Um, that will only be for those that are on this live stream that sign up on this live stream. So Mike, take it away. Yeah, guys, um, you heard it right there from, from Adam. So that's insanely ridiculous, absurd value that you guys are getting with this Black Friday uh, deal. Not only the 52% discount, a free laptop that's worth about 300 bucks retail, and then a one-on-one -on -one mentor session with any of the TC mods that you guys choose. So that's everything that you're going to be getting included, plus the entire platform of tools and resources. Our membership is all-inclusive, right? It covers all of our courses. It's an 18-course curriculum. It's a simplified version of what I learned working at the fund in New York. Our other moderators have added and expanded on it. You get access to every single course. There are no upsells for more courses. There's no VIP courses or pro courses that cost more money after you join. Every single course is included when you guys join True Training Group for this Black Friday sale by going to ttgoffer.com, enter the coupon code TTG one two one joe if you want maybe post the syllabus inside chat we'll put up a link inside chat you guys can click on the link see for yourself everything you're going to get access to all of the courses that you will be getting but then you're going to get all the tools as well now these tools are do you need them yes professional traders use them to make better decisions so so should you we not only give you access to these tools we will show you how to use them we spent years building relationships with these companies so we can offer their products on our platform at no additional cost to you. That 1050 price point is going to include Benzinga's real-time pro news feed, live up to the second news alerts with a squawk box feature. Just that alone, if you go to Benzinga, it's over a thousand bucks right there. It's included with your membership when you join TTG. You get Quote Media's full book level two, Trading Views premium charting software, the Trade Ideas scanner, ETNA's simulators, you guys can practice trading with fake money. Our own proprietary scanner that's similar to ThinViz Elite that lets you create custom scans. Dark pool data, unusual options activity, options flow, analyst ratings, insider buying, insider selling, short data, watch lists, our mobile app so that you guys can still be involved with what we're doing during the trading day. Even if you're not in front of your computer, get real-time trade alerts when the mods enter and exit trades a social sentiment scanner, a trading journal. All of this is included when you guys join True Trading Group. That 1050 price point gets you literally all of that. Easily those tools, if you paid for them on your own, easily 5,000 bucks a year, easily. You go to ttgoffer.com right now and you enter the coupon code TTG121, you click apply code, that price is gonna flash green from 2212. It'll drop all the way down to 1050. 
Okay. We've got a bunch of laptops. Adam was able to get his hands on a hundred of them yesterday. I don't know. That's just crazy. I don't know how you did it, but take advantage of it. So you guys will be getting a brand new free laptop. You don't have to um, enter your address when you sign up. You'll get a welcome email with instructions on how to claim that free laptop after you guys join. We cover the shipping costs. We ship anywhere in the world. You live on planet Earth, we'll get to that free laptop. Like I said, we cover the shipping cost. The laptop has a retail value of around 300 bucks. Use it to trade with, give it to your kid for school, use it for work, give it to somebody for the holidays, sell it on eBay. I don't care. Then take that $300 and put it into your training account. Whatever you want to do with it, it's yours. It's free. It's our gift to you for joining the TGD family. You're also going to be getting only those who sign up during this live stream. You're going to get a free one-on-one -on -one mentor session with either myself or any one of the other nine professional trading moderators that are part of True Trading Group to go through your trading specifically. What can we improve on? What can we fix? How can we improve on your P&L? Okay. And I'll spare you all the question that I know is coming. Are people actually making money with True Trading Group? Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's ask. Members of True Trading Group, type the dollar sign in chat right now. If very simple, are you making money? Are you becoming better traders? Type the dollar sign inside chat right now. Now, anyone that's not a member, my advice, pay attention right here. How many people are about to type the dollar sign? Because these people, these are your peers. These are people that found True Trading Group the exact same way you did. That's on one of these live streams. Now here they are telling you they're making money. They're becoming better traders. If they can do it, so can you. They are not smarter than you. They do not have more money than you, more experience or more time. They just have access to the TTG platform, which gives them real education, same stuff that I received working at a fund in New York, access to professional trading tools, and are part of a community of over 10,000 members that genuinely give a damn whether or not you succeed or fail. That's the difference. And if they can do it, so can you. They had all the same excuses that you give yourself right now. Yet here they are now telling you that they're making money, they're becoming better traders. And I am so confident in our platform, I'm so confident in the community that we have created that I am willing to offer a double your money back guarantee to anyone that joins here this evening. Yes, all part of our Black Friday sale. You have all year to do this. I'm not telling you, hey guys, I'll give you double your money back, but you have 14 days to accomplish these tasks, some unrealistic time frame. No, you have the entire length of your membership to go through our courses, pass our quizzes, and attend one study group at your own pace, on your own time, on your own schedule. If you cannot make your membership fee back, $1,050. If you can't make that back at least once during your membership, guys, I'm gonna give you back double what you paid. I will give you back $2,100 if you cannot make the 1050 back at least once. That is the commitment that I will make to you when you decide to join True Trading Group. I can do that because I don't think you're gonna need it. It's there for peace of mind, makes you feel better. That's fine, but I don't think you need it. Why? Well, since 2016, we've only had to refund 2.6% of our users. 78% of our members renew their membership. We're five-star rated on Trustpilot with over 1,850 reviews. So based on what members tell us, the reviews they leave, right? Okay, based on what members tell us, the reviews they leave, based on our refund rate, based on our retention rate, I can very confidently tell you that this has worked for thousands of people. And if you want to put forth some effort, I will back that up. I will back all of this up. They double your money back guarantee. That's the deal. You guys got to join here right here, right now on this live stream. Open up a new web browser. Go to ttgoffer.com. Type in the coupon code TTG121. Click apply code. Price will drop to 1050. You see a laptop in your checkout cart. That's how you know you're getting one. And as long as you sign up while we are live on this channel, you'll get that free one-on-one -on -one mentor session, the double your money back guarantee, and access to all of the tools, all of the courses, everything that I just told you guys about right here, right now. If you have any questions about this membership, Okay, any questions at all, send a text message to 786-505-4049. You have questions about me, you have questions about the mods, our trading, you have questions about the platform, about the membership, don't hesitate. Send us a text message right now, we're waiting for it. 786-505-4049. Hey. I love, Hello, how's it I, going? Love messing, I love messing with Jess. Yeah, I love when you, I love when Jess, like Adam doesn't even warn you. He just like 
just drops you right. He like he'll sit there and wait. Like, oh, let me wait for Jess to like sneeze or. or I know, or yawn, and then just put her right on the screen. <laughs> or when I'm eating, he likes to yes. throw me on there when I'm eating. I'm like, yes, mid bite, mid bite. Like you have like you have a kid in a headlock, and then Adam puts you on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Just kicked back watching TikTok. Nice, nice. Uh, we got to welcome uh, Michael. Michael, welcome to the family, Adam. I don't even know how many laptops we got left, bro. How many we got? Oh, left? Uh, now we have eighty-six. Okay, Michael, welcome to the family. We are now down to eighty-six of those laptops. They and Michael gets the one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, and Michael does get the one-on-one. -on -one. So. Michael, congratulations. Welcome to the Teachy family. 86 laptops remain, and Michael will be getting a one-on-one -on -one mentor session with any one of the pro trading mods. Michael, my advice to you, before you decide which moderator you'd like to do your one-on-one -on -one with, spend some time inside chat, familiarize yourself with the moderators and the trading styles of the mods. We all have different styles. Day trading, swing trading, stocks, options, high volatility, low volatility. See which which trading moderator you vibe with most. See which one you want to do your one on one with. Congratulations, Michael, on becoming part of the TGD fam. Uh, and the one on one doesn't expire throughout your whole year, so you can use yeah. It there's no you, rush. There's no rush. You can use it whenever you want. All right. All right. All right. So let's get into the first topic uh that people want to discuss mike jessica how do you know when it's time to leave the simulator and start trading with real money oh that's a good question um once you feel completely confident in how to properly position yourself into trades number one and number two, when you feel very confident in your setups and your style, I would say. Well, what, how would you define comfortable, you know, comfortable? Is that based on an, on a number? Should you, should, you know, is it, you know, cause what if you have a couple winning trades and you feel confident, but, but how do you know that confidence isn't misplaced? How do you know if it's, if it's real or not? Hmm. Well, honestly, you put it to the test. Like what I did when I started is once I felt very comfortable in like identifying my setups for mid caps, what I did is um, I went into the market with very small risk amount and I would test those setups that I would do on the simulator and stuff. And I it wasn't like I just went from the simulator to trading. I like shifted into it very slowly. So I was able to build that confidence without having my entire account on the line. Right. Like I started very small when I shifted over. Got it. Mike, what do you, what do you think? I, about I'll usually tell people, you know, you want to try to maintain an over 50% win rate on the simulator before you start trading with real money. And just how long? Your, I, at least a month. Um, and, and I'll just, so I can give maybe some, you know, like definitive numbers or, or milestones for you to reach, um, you know, just trading well for one week is not enough. I think if you're able to maintain an over 50% win rate for a month, um, I think that that is when you can start thinking about, you know, shifting over and trying with real money. Um, what I will tell people though, is just to make sure that if you're going to trade on the simulator, you better treat it like it's real. Otherwise you're going to do more harm than good. If you're not going to be trading with, if, if you are trading with a thousand dollar account, do not go and buy a hundred thousand dollars worth of Tesla and then just hold on to it and make 20 grand on a trade and be like, yeah, I'm ready for this. No, because if you're, that's how you're going to treat the simulator, then you're literally doing more harm than good. And as soon as you step your foot into the water with real money, you're going to realize that everything is different. Everything has changed. The whole premise behind using a simulator is you should treat it so real to the point that I should be able to one day just log you into your real trading account instead of the simulator and you actually have no idea. That is how much you should be treating that simulator like it is real because otherwise, you, how are you ever going to know when it's time to trade with real money? You have to prove you can make money with the exact same situation that you have in real life 
before you start trading with real money. So treat it like it's real. Try to get the over 50% win rate over a month. And then you can start thinking about trading with real cash. Yeah. And I would say do that from the very start. Like if you've never traded a day in your life, don't just jump into the market, like start on the simulator because then you can identify who you are in the market before you risk your hard and earned cash. Like definitely use the simulator because it's free to you guys. You know, yeah. it's, it's a free tool for you guys to do all of that on. You don't have to you know, just go dive right into the stock market. You can practice first. So I would, yeah, that's definitely. true. We, we do, we do pay good money for, uh, for that simulator. So, um, we need to welcome Peter. Peter, welcome to the family, Peter. So now we have 85 laptops. 85. Peter, you are getting one of those free one-on-one -on -one mentor sessions. So everybody welcome and congratulate Peter on being the newest member of the TTG family. Guys, go to ttgoffer.com, enter the coupon code TTG121, click apply code. The price will drop to 1050. You'll get the free laptop. You have to double your money back guarantee. It is all right there for you guys to jump on before the price goes up after Black Friday. And then we will only be giving away the one-on-one -on -one mentor sessions right here on this live stream. So if you do not sign up right here on this live, you're not getting that one-on-one. -on -one. That's for people that join right here, right now. Peter, okay. you got one. Congrats. Yep. All right. Um, next question. Hey, let me just change this. I'm, I'm doing double duty right now. Yep, no worries. All right. Next question. What are some of the best ways to trade off of a pullback? So I like to use volume as a huge decision maker when trying to buy a pullback. Now there's two different types of pullbacks. There is a pullback, like let's say off of a gap up and a pullback off a gap up where you give back the initial gap, you get in, you test a bunch of support levels, and then you move to the upside. That's exactly what happened today. Um, on the semiconductors, AMD, NVIDIA, ASML, they all gapped up, all pulled back off the open, but they pulled right into support levels and then reversed their course and had a big, huge, explosive day to the upside. AMD, the big winner today inside of chat. Congratulations, Jess, and members of True Trading Group on hitting the AMD long today. NVIDIA, ASML, doesn't matter which one you guys pick. They all had huge moves to the upside today. Um, so there's... Price action off of those support levels when you get a gap up and a pullback. I like to look for, you know, big reversals off of support levels when they're coming off of, I'll call it a gap and crap, like a gap up, and then you pull it back in. Look for a very sharp reversal off of a support level for an indication to get long. The other, and what I mean by that is the stock very quickly gets off of the support level. So if, let's say you have support at 20 bucks stock drops to 20 bucks and then immediately goes back up to 21. That's a sign of good support. Buy it at 21, stop it at 20 and then ride that wave to the upside. The other way to look for pullback entries would be in the middle of an uptrend. So let's say a stock is moving to the upside, then you have a pullback and then you get the continuation. So that'll be a pullback within an uptrend or a continuation pullback. And for that, you wanna look for increasing volume when the stock's moving to the upside and then decreasing volume when the stock is experiencing the pullback. Really lean on the increase versus decrease of volume to let you know that it is a safe, viable pullback because if volume is decreasing on the pullback, the chances are that pullback is profit-taking, not aggressive selling. When the pullback has increasing volume, that is an indication of aggressive selling pressure and a much lower likelihood of the trend continuing to the upside and possibly that stock then rolling itself over and changing its trend. All right. Excellent. Um, and we need to welcome Tim. Tim, welcome to the family, Tim. Newest member of the group. Tim, welcome. 84 laptops remain now. Yep. So you guys Tim's were gonna one of those. Tim's getting one of those uh one-on-ones as well. Yep, yep. So 84 laptops and a one-on-one -on -one for Tim. Guys, again, if you have any questions about this membership, you can always send us a text message to 786-505-4049, 786-505-4049. If you have any questions at all, 
about the membership. You'll get a free one-on-one -on -one mentor session with one of the moderators. Once you guys join on this live stream only, the price of 1050 and the laptop, that's good all the way through till midnight. But the one-on-one -on -one mentor session is only available for those that join right now during this live stream. Take advantage of it now, folks. Yep. Also, if you're a uh, previous member, a previous trial or current trial, and you want this deal, you have to send a text message uh, to 786-505-4049. I'll put that number up on the screen. We have to whitelist your email. All right, next question. And, and I want Jess to, to answer this one first. I know that that behind the scenes, Jess has reached out to me and she's reached out to you when she's had bad trades, which are few and far between for her. But when they do happen, um, I want to know, how do you recover your mental capital when you experience a losing trade? Um, it depends on what's going on. Like... When I am having a couple days where I'm like, can you read? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I'm having a couple bad days where it's one after the next, after the next red trade, I take the next day off. Like if I can start to feel my mental capital, like, oh, I should just get into this because I'm struggling right now. Like when I start to feel myself going haywire, it's hard to explain but I take the day off because it helps me reground myself and it helps me to reflect on why I'm struggling or why my mental capital is struggling. And so, you know, that question is kind of broad because it, it just depends on what's like if I'm struggling because I had a lot of stuff going on at home. Um, like with the kids' schedules and stuff, and I missed a setup and then my mental capital struggles with that, I literally will not trade until I feel like I can be a sniper again. I won't touch anything because at that point, you're not trading off the charts. You're trading off of emotion. Um, so it kind of just depends on what the, the situation. And like Adam said, like, if I can't figure out why I reach out, you know, I reach out to my, like me and Mike had a conversation a couple months ago, you know, like reaching out does not make you any less of a trader. And I have this conversation with members all the time that even myself, I reach out because there are going to be times when you need just another perspective or when you know what you're doing, but you just need to hear it from somebody else, you know, and that's okay. Like, don't feel like, oh, well, I made this stupid mistake, so I'm not going to reach out. Reach out because it helps to hear it from somebody else. That's why we're in it. That's why we're, that's why you trade in a group. That That's why we are the community that we are. That's why we say welcome to the family. You know, don't ever swallow your pride, folks. Swallow your pride. You know, this isn't about pride. This is about making money and being successful. Yeah, and, there's no there's no style points in in, right. in in this. Right. You know, when you know if you're you guys are struggling, <laughs> you know, reach out, ask questions, talk to people, talk to members because trading can be a very lonely profession. You don't have to do it alone. You know, and there's a lot and, and people that are in your your regular life probably will not understand what you're going through or won't be able to give you sound advice. I'll just tell you, oh, you're, you know, they have no input whatsoever. What, 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 so I'm going to regurgitate something I saw on Reddit? Yeah, cool. Good luck. Great advice. Talk to people that know what they're doing and that have been through exactly what you're dealing with because there's somebody part that's in your training group that, trust me, has been in your exact same position before and have overcome it and they've come out better on the other side. Yeah, that's what I was going to say is like you'll go through so many different seasons of trading and I'm learning this because – you know, this is year two for me. It's kind of crazy to say it out loud, but this is year two for me. And like, I've noticed how much when my mental capital struggles now, like what the change is now from two years ago, you know, so you'll go through so many different seasons as a trader that you'll want to talk to somebody 
who has been there and who has worked through it and what what did they do to work through it you know what tools did they use who you know just having that broader group like what we have in true trading group is why we're here so that's a long-winded answer but <laughs> no it's, it's a great one it's a great one got it got it yeah i mean i'm not um i don't know yet so mike a lot of the comments that you see here you, you have to watch YouTube because they're they're some of the bad ones are not shown on YouTube, but you'll see them here. Okay. All right. So there you go. All right. Um, oh wow. So this is uh, this person right here. Um, the truth is out there. So that's the Tom that just joined. Oh, okay. Did I announce Tom? Um, Tom? Oh, it's Tim. You said Tim, I think. Oh, so then maybe there's a Tom that joined? Hang on. I, yeah, I thought it was Tim. It was Ooh. Tim. Yeah, Ooh. there is no um, there is no Tom that joined yet. All right. All right. So we'll see. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I need help. I joined under my name, Tom L. I seriously lost everything too bad. Right, so he joined last. He said he just joined last week. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, yeah, man. I mean, yeah, you didn't Tom, Tom. Listen, I'm I'm glad you joined. You know, if if you you lost everything and you you obviously you just became a member to your training group, um, but if you lost everything before, my advice to you is now that you've joined your training group is to really take things slow, Tom, and and not try to make back everything that you've lost previously from joining TDG. I would not try to, to make that all back now, now that you're a member, take your time, slow down, go through the courses, right? Ask questions on things that you do not understand, attend workshops and study groups, like start on the simulator. I'm not sure what happened on why you, you lost everything that you said in, in bad trades. I don't know what those things are that you did, but we have to make sure that you understand what you did wrong first so that we know not to make those same mistakes again. You can't try to look at it. And this is a big mistake a lot of people make. When people lose a lot of money in the beginning, they think that they're going to try to make the money back just as fast, if not faster, then they lost it. That is a horrible plan and a terrible idea and usually leads to people completely blowing up their accounts and eventually quitting. All right. This is, it's going to take time to make things back, but it is possible to make things back. Take your time, go through the courses, you know, participate in chat, ask questions. Members will help. Moderators will help, but let's learn to walk before we try to run. Next question, last question. How do you not bag hold a losing stock? You set stop losses. You know, if you can't trust yourself to get out of a losing trade when you are Can you supposed explain to, a stop loss? Can you explain yeah. what that is? Yeah, so a stop loss is a preset order that you can put into your trading platform that if the stock reaches that price, it'll automatically sell it for you. You don't have to do it. So if you buy a stock at $20 and you say, I'm going to put my, I'm setting a stop loss at 19, you can just leave, go about your business. If the stock gets to 19, it'll automatically sell it for you. And that's how you can control your losses. Now that's going to be a stop on quote order or a stop order. That is not a stop limit order. I do not recommend people use stop limit orders. Stop limit orders may not get filled if a stock moves too quickly. Stop on quote or stop orders will get filled regardless of how fast the stock is moving. So um, if you can't trust yourself to get out of a losing trade when you're when you are wrong, use the hard use physical hard stop losses, set them and forget it. Take yourself out of the equation, let the computer sell it for you. 
Okay. Um, here's a quick question from World Gate. Says, I'm curious, and maybe I'm going to join. Uh, but And I like this person's attitude. No need for discounts or presents. You guys are great. Oh, cool. Their question is, um, I guess, what is your airlines. opinion of those three uh, stocks? Yeah, those are all the airlines, United, American, and JetBlue. Um, you know, I, these, these stocks are, I'm going to put them in order for you because there is such an obvious discrepancy in strength and weakness in these three stocks, even though they're all three airlines. Um, United Airlines is the strongest by far. Now, I like United Airlines. I think they've got one of the better balance sheets. I think they're one of the better run airlines. Okay. I actually do own American Airlines, a stock that I bought, you know, back during the COVID crash. Okay. So that's one of the airline stocks that I, that I do own. Now, the other one that you mentioned was American Airlines, which is a little bit weaker than United. And then you have JetBlue, which is the weakest of those airlines that you had mentioned. It is actually back to the lows that it was at during COVID. So out of all of these airlines, I like United the best from a relative strength standpoint, but I just don't like the airlines in general. I just feel like these, these stocks are so dilutive. There's so much debt. There's these companies are going to, you know, just going to continue to, to, to raise money. I just think there's such better places to put your money um, than the airlines. You know, um, the airlines were something that a lot of people flocked to during the COVID crash because they went down 75% and everybody was like, oh, well, that stock is down the most. Therefore, it's going to go up the most. And that's the exact wrong way to think. If airlines went down the most, there's a reason they went down the most because every single professional hedge fund manager in the world said, I want out of this stock. There's a reason why Apple only went down 20% during the COVID crash and American Airlines went down 78. Yep, I don't mean to interrupt you, but we got to welcome Desti, 83 left. Oh, Desti joined. That's fantastic. Desti's been on the live stream the last for two years. Desti's been on the live stream. That very last really? night, Desti said, I'm going to join on Tuesday. Desti, congratulations. Welcome to the family, Desti. Glad to have you on board. We're down to 83 laptops now. Desti got one of the free one-on-one -on -one mentor sessions. Desti, welcome. I'm a, it's a pleasure to have you. Longtime YouTube viewer, just pulled the trigger, became a member. I'm excited for you. Guys, go to ttgoffer.com. Enter the coupon code TTG121. Click apply code. The price will drop to 1050. You'll get the free laptop. And you guys, if you join during the live stream, you'll get the one-on-one -on -one mentor session. You'll also get the double your money back guarantee. It's all there for you guys when you go to ttgoffer.com. If you have any questions or you're a trial, previous trial or previous member, send us a text message to 786-505-4049. So going back to World Gates' question, um, yeah, so that's just, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, that's talking bigger picture, you know, now, but whenever you have market crashes like that, there's a reason why stocks go down 75% and others go down 20 because the one that goes down 20, that's the last stock people want to sell. The one that goes down 75, that's the first one everybody wants to sell. There's reasons for that. So don't, don't fall, don't fall into the trap of, oh, well, it's down the most. So I'm going to buy that one. Usually there's a reason it's down the most. And you can see when you look at these charts, these stocks have barely come off of, you know, those, those COVID lows. I mean, JetBlue is actually still sitting at the COVID low, right? I mean, it's, it's all the way back at it. Even American Airlines, you know, the COVID low is down here just around $10, 9 It's at 13 14 right? It's not like American Airlines is back up at $35 and it was, you know, this massive, you know, 300% gainer. So, um, I, I, I just, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the airlines. I think they're just going to consolidate and chop around for the foreseeable future. I think there's a lot of better opportunities that are out there. Worldgate. So you think they may have some turbulence? I think there's going to be some turbulence. There's some chop there. There's some chop there for the airlines, but they're good stocks to trade. Like, you know, they can give you good, good trading movements. Um, but they're like they're lower volatility type of stocks. I think they're great trades. They're great stocks for like beginners to trade because the volatility is really low um, and the options are really cheap. So it's a good stock to trade for people that are beginners and just starting out. But from a long-term perspective, I think there's better stuff to own. 
Do you think they'll ever come back to the capacity they were before COVID? When you say capacity, like like airline travel. Oh now yeah, they're they're, they're back. They're, they're, they're back yeah. there now. They're back there now. Um, their their airline travel is back to pre-COVID levels. The one part though that is is hurting the airlines is that business travel has not returned to previous levels because now a lot of people are not flying to London for a meeting. They're going to hold it on Teams or Zoom or whatever. And there's a lot less business travel. Now, airlines make their money on business travel. They don't make their money on, on, on you know, your the economy seats. Airlines make their money on business travel. That is a huge profit driver for them. And the business travel just has not gone back to where it was. You have a lot of leisure travel, a lot of people that are traveling now for fun and vacation and, and, and they're spending money on experiences and travel rather than TVs or remodeling their home like they did during COVID. Um, and it's going to be very, very difficult for these stocks to get back to the prices that they were at before COVID. So it's like from a capacity level of the airlines, yeah, they're back to pre COVID travel capacity but not business travel. And like for, for United airlines to get back to $90, I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, that's that, what I was curious about because like now that all this has happened, like you said, everybody's figured out that they can have meetings on zoom, yeah. you know? So I don't know. That's that I've been curious about that. Like, cause especially with um, like commercial buildings around where we live, you know, none of those have gotten rented out since COVID. Yeah. And I, I just solely think it's because people have figured out that their employees can work from home and do all their meetings on Zoom, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's... We got a real quick. We got to welcome Ryan. Nice. Ryan, welcome to the family. 82 laptops left now, guys. 82. And Ryan's getting a one-on-one -on -one mentor session. That is excellent. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Guys, take advantage of this. Again, you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one mentor session if you sign up during the live stream. You got the double your money back guaranteed a 52% discount on the brand new free laptop that's got a retail value of just around 300 bucks. It's all yours when you guys join here right now for the Black Friday sale. Yep. And uh, keep in mind, the the price and the laptop, uh, that, that's going to be good after this live stream is done, but the one-on-one -on -one will not. That's just for anyone that signs up on right. the live stream. And we are down to 82 laptops, and these are going to start to, to, to move. So I got a question for you, Jess. What's up? <laughs> what's up? Um, what would you say that you are most grateful for this year? Don't, you don't have to say true trading group, just in general. You know, this is your first full year as as a as a full time professional trader, right? Yep. What would you say have been the biggest the biggest rewards and like the most sense of fulfillment from that? Um, the first and foremost biggest success that I have felt this year is the amount of time that. James has gotten to spend here with us. It's been something I never thought I would be able to do until I learned how to trade because my husband makes very good money doing what he does. And I was able to achieve a dream that I had and I made it a reality and I'm making it a reality. And that's been trying not to cry right now oh, yes. <laughs> um, that has been like one of our dreams is he's wanted to be home so that he can work on our rental homes and pick up the kids from school and bring me lunch and have coffee with me in the morning and like we've been doing that for almost the last four weeks and it's like um i would say that's been one of my biggest accomplishments in all of my career over all of the things that I've done and tried. And um, secondly, and I know that this is so materialistic, which I'm not like that anybody who knows me, but I remember when I was five years old, 
I met somebody, she was like in her young 20s, and she had a whole closet full of Louis Vuitton bags. And she would take me in and show me them. And every year after I met this woman, I had my mother take me into this Louis Vuitton store. And we didn't have money when I was growing up. I mean, you know, we, we lived very simple. Um, and I would just go in there and they, you know, the workers would say, don't touch. Okay. And I'm like, okay, I just want to look, you know, <laughs> and I would go in there every year and look at these bags. And when I became 16 and was able to work, I told myself one day you will be successful enough to buy one of those bags. This was before I even knew I was going to have a husband <laughs> and how great my husband would be. I said, you will buy yourself one of those bags. And I sent Adam a picture today because I am going to go and buy myself that bag. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Like it's, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for you, Jess. You freaking deserve it. You freaking deserve it. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. I'm good so for happy you. for you. It's, oh, that's incredible. That is so awesome. But trading has, you know, and, and thankfully to True Trading Group and, you know, Adam and Mike have helped me so much because I've had to really shift my mindset. Like I didn't grow up learning how to invest. I didn't grow up like having my credit cards paid off, you know, like we lived paycheck to paycheck and it was hard at times. And I grew up like that my entire life. So this experience to be able to learn how to trade and do it from home. Like today I told Mike, Hey, I'm out getting my kids from school. Will you alert that I just took profit? Like, <laughs> our kids are getting to experience both of their parents here, you know, and I never like my mom worked very hard. And so that's a huge accomplishment for me that I'm able to be present with my kids, you know, um, cause a lot of people don't get to have that experience, but thanks to what I've learned from true trading group, I know I can do this for the rest of my life. So amazing. All right. You're gonna you're gonna make me cry, Jess. So stop. I'm really trying to hold that. <laughs> Come on, you're gonna mess I up your eyelashes. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> um Mike, what are you most grateful for, man? Man. I am you know, I am most grateful for my experiences that I've had, you know, throughout life and with me being, listen, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I didn't have to go on YouTube and try to figure out who's full of crap and who's legit, who can I trust and who can I, who's just trying to, you know, feed a bunch of crap, you know, down my throat and, and who's actually giving me actionable information and, you know, I was taught at a very young age, the, the importance of this type of education. And, and I was, you know, fortunate enough to have, you know, true professionals that were there to guide me and, and mentor me and to help, help me build this skill. And if it wasn't for the skill that I, that I've acquired and the experiences and education that I've had, I wouldn't be where I am today. I, I am, you know, I'm humble enough to say that I did not figure any of this stuff out on my own. There was a lot of, you know, people that have helped me along, along the way. And that's why, like, when people say to me, you always get a bunch of, you know, a bunch of asses that are like, oh, if you're such a good trader, why do you sell memberships? I don't know, man. Why do, why do golf instructors teach golf lessons if they're such good golfers? I mean, I understand the, the impact, the positive impact that this skill and this knowledge can have on, on a person and can have on their lives and their family's lives. And just like Jess mentioned to you, like her kids get to experience what it's like to have both of their parents home. You know, her husband's able to take a week off of work and stay home and spend time with her 
and quality time for them and for their marriage and their relationship and quality time with their kids and for their family. So what, what Jess is learning and what she's able to do not only positively impacts her, it positively impacts James, it positively impacts her kids. And to be able to now have created a community like True Trading Group and a platform like True Trading Group that we're able to help other people kind of experience these things and, and, and develop these skills and get exposure to this type of, of knowledge and this type of education because one you are one good or bad decision away from completely changing your financial future and the financial future of the next generation to come. You make one good decision or one bad decision, and that can have a long lasting impact on your entire financial situation and your kid's financial situation. Just think about the people that didn't know anything when the market was crashing during COVID. And they panicked because everyone thought that it was a zombie apocalypse and they sold everything. Imagine if you liquidated your 401k at the bottom of the COVID crash. That is going to be a decision that's not just going to impact you. It's going to impact your kids when you are when you can't afford to send your kid to the college that they want to go to. Or your kid can't have the, the wedding ceremony that they want. Or your kid can't afford to buy a home and you don't have you know extra money to help them put down money for a down payment. Those type of decisions can positively or negatively impact your life. Just like the right decisions during a COVID crash, the right decisions during a time like this could set you up years to come that can help you build wealth, that can support you and your family. God forbid something happens, you got to pay for medical bills for somebody or a procedure. You've got the money to do it. You're one good or bad decision away from a different financial situation. That's powerful. And the more we can educate people, on the importance of that, and the more that we can help people make better decisions, then the more of a positive impact we can have. And I'm just grateful that I had the chance to experience and gain that knowledge and experience. And I'm grateful that we've been able to, to build something over a short period of time that has been able to impact over 10,000 people worldwide. And we're going to continue to do so for many years to come. And I'm just thankful that I'm thankful for you, Adam, just an amazing business partner, entrepreneur, mastermind, genius, and yeah. and the whole team of True Trading Group that supports our vision and, and is, is putting their blood, sweat, and tears into growing this platform and helping people. And I'm thankful for every single team member of True Trading Group. And I'm thankful for every single member of TTG because without you guys, this whole platform is nothing. Yeah. Well, that was really good. That was really good. Well, you know, you don't think about um, when everything is going good, right? You have a perfect job. You have money in the bank. You, you don't think about what would I do if, right? Because naturally, as human beings, we don't want to take our mind there, right? We want to be comfortable. We don't want to think about what if something tragic happened, you know? And that's, I think, where me and James's mindset really shifted. That was the point when we knew like we wanted to do more and yeah, he makes great money doing what he's doing. But when our son got hurt, like we had to be both his caretakers, like he needed both of us. Like it was, there was no choice, you know, and you only have money in your savings for so long. Yeah. And that became a reality to us, you know? Um, and I remember in that moment, we were literally caring for him and I picked up the computer and I looked at my husband and I said, I, I'm going to start trading. And that's when I started gambling. That was when my journey began was I knew I needed to do something more. And so did my husband, you know, like we knew that, which we're so thankful to God that this did not happen, but we knew if our son's leg got amputated, this would be a very long journey for him. And I knew my husband would need to be here with us. And so, you know, that's how I stumbled upon this live stream was I was losing money and losing money, gam just gambling. But I knew that this could work. You know, it was one of those things that I knew this could bring financial freedom. I just needed to find somebody to put together all the pieces so that I could do it. Right. Cause I had the drive. I knew I, 
I knew I was ready. Like I knew I, if once I found that place, I was going to dive right in and learn how to do this. And I wasn't going to stop until I did, you know? And when I stumbled upon your trading group, I was like, man, this is it. I put it on a credit card and I've mentioned this on streams before. Like you have to be willing to bust your ass to learn how to do this. It's not just going to like fall in your lap. You're not just going to read some magical book. That's like, Hey, this is how you learn how to day trade. Yep. You know, um, it, it takes a lot of your sweat and tears. Sometimes you can tell I'm a crier. So I cried very often throughout learning how to trade and true trading group is and was the real deal. It was all there. It was organized. I was able to do it like in between caring for my son. The chat room is great because you can listen to it all day. I remember like doing dishes and running errands and taking kids, you know, it's all there. I didn't have to search all over the internet for answers I needed. So, you know, it, think about your future now. Like, don't wait because we waited and we wish we would have done this, you know, 12 years ago, 15 years ago, because our lives would be completely different today. Yeah. So don't wait, like invest in yourself at least, you know, if, if you've been thinking about learning how to trade or wanting more for yourself and your family, I can tell you and look you in the, in the eye from your screen, of course, <laughs> and tell you that I learned from this place right here, True Trading Group. And it was one of the best decisions I've made in my entire life, aside from my husband and my kids. So. I love it. Now you're, you're such an inspiration to so many people that are on this live stream, Jess. And, you know, it's, it's crazy to think that you're only two years into this. Imagine where you're going to be in four, six, eight, ten. I'm ready. <laughs> it's, crazy. it's crazy when you think about it. It really is. Guys, take advantage. Go to ttgoffer.com. Use the coupon code TTG121. Click apply code. The price will drop to 1050. That's it. 1050. The whole year. That's all you're paying. You get all of our courses. You get all of our, our, our tools and our resources. You sign up during this live stream. You're going to get a one-on-one -on -one mentor session with myself, Jess, or one of the other mods, whichever one, you, whichever mod you guys choose. And you're going to get a brand new free laptop that's worth about 300 bucks retail. You don't have to enter your address to get the laptop. You're going to welcome email when you join. It'll have instructions how to claim that laptop. But you guys got to take advantage of it here now. If you have any questions or if you're a trial member or used to be a member, send us a text message to 786-505-4049. How many people are on the live stream right now that are not members of True Training Group? If you guys are not a member of TTG and you're still on the live stream here, just do me a favor and type the letters TTG. If you are not a member of True Training Group. Just type the letters TTG. I want to see who's still with us here. Jonathan Wilson, Silver Eagle. Hell. Ball sack skin, bro. Ball sack skin, yes. Somebody said, what is Adam thankful for? Oh, there you go. That's, a, that's another live. Go ahead. Achilles. <laughs> What's up, John? All right, guys. Good. So we still have some new faces that are with us here on a yeah, live two of them. <laughs> about three of them. Was there three? Yeah, there was three of them. Uh, four. Four of them. I don't count John Bianchi. Yeah, no, there's four without John. I didn't count John either. Yeah, and there's Dave. Bringing up the rear. Way to go, Dave. <laughs> Good job, Dave. I'm bad. Way to go, Dave. <laughs> It's always Dave. <laughs> All right, Mateo. Mateo's like, don't leave me out. 
Yeah. They're they're like, no, say it. Now. Someone said, no, say it now. Say what now? What you're thankful for. Yeah. That's what that's what they're saying. They said, no, say it now. Like, say what you're thankful for. Ah, Carson's like, I'm not getting left out of this. Carson coming in heavy with the TTG. <laughs> Adam, I would like to know what you're grateful for. Oh, boy. I don't know if I have enough time taking my kids to the movies. Um, Make it snippy. The long explanation. My explanation was pretty long. Yeah. Yours was also really good, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Was mine really good? Yours was awesome. Yours was better than Mike's. <laughs> I'm being serious. I say, so you're not going to share it, I guess, I'm today? I'm thinking, man. Okay. How many members do we have on here? If you're a member, can you type the number one real quick? How many members do we have on here? Everybody else. <laughs> no, it isn't. It isn't everybody else. It's just the half the people don't know how to sign into YouTube and type TTG or don't want to type it or busy doing something else. Did I freeze? Am I frozen? You did, but you're better now. Sweet. All right. Um, Damn, look at Jerry Howell. Do you see that comment? I did not. Oh, damn it. Hang oh, wait, on. yes, I do. I do. New member looking. Yes, I do. 81 years old. Hell yeah, Jerry. Hell yes. Somebody told me in chat today that they felt that they were just done because they were 60 years old. <sighs> no way. No way. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't make much sense to me either. Um, for those of you, I mean, I don't know how many people. Oh, they're, they're, they're three minutes out. Um, I'll save it for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I got three minutes before they get here. I'm going to get my shoes on. You're going to run through the spiel. We've been on here for an hour and 45 minutes, you know. This is yeah. going to be the longest commercial break ever. <laughs> yeah. Well, what I'll do, guys, is, you know, I'll, I'll kind of wrap up things here. I, mean, I think it's a good note for us to kind of end on. I mean, we kind of got a little, we answered a bunch of people's questions and, um, we got a little emotional there and, and a little, you know, person, personable and personal. And I think it's a good time to, to end. Do you teach investing at the same time trading or investment to maximize profits? Yes, Achilles, we do. So Achilles, you're going to learn day trading and swing trading, but we also do long-term investing as well. So, um, and there's a lot of different advanced ops and strategies you'll learn, like selling covered calls um, to generate income off of your positions and create dividends where they don't exist. And you're going to learn a bunch of different stuff when it comes to true trading group. It's, it's not just me. It's not just Jess. There's nine other professional trading mods that are in TTG and we day trade, we swing trade, and we also do long-term portfolio, um, announcements and, and education as well. So you're, you're going to learn all of it as a member. All right. So what I'll do now folks is, you know, what we'll do now, which is more money investing or day trading Achilles. It's the combination same. of both. Oh, I thought he meant for the membership. I, I, no, I'm just saying like, what is more like if, if he wanted our investing or day trading courses, I thought that was the question that he was asking. Oh, I don't know. Is it which, which is more money? It's all the same money. 
Yeah, I, if that, I mean, if I'm understanding your question correctly, Achilles, it's all included. You, you pay the 1050 for the whole year, you get access to all of it, all the day trading, all the swing trading, all the long-term investing. It's an all-inclusive membership. So it's like, you just, it's like, it's like going to the to the theme park. You you pay an admission and that's it. You're just in the park and you can, you know, do everything that you get that, that you want. So um, it's an all-inclusive membership. You pay the one price, you get access to everything that we have. I hope I'm understanding your, your question correctly, but that's how I that's how I took that. So what I'll do, guys, is I will show um but I will show oh everybody. yes. Have an awesome night. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me on. And I will see you guys all in chat tomorrow. Yes. Well, thanks for joining us. Take care, Jess. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So what I'll do now is... I, I got to run. All right. Bye, guys. So, guys, what I'll do is I will... I'm done with the educational stuff and the analysis and everything. Now, there were... And then there was one. I'm done with all the education stuff. So you guys are not interested in the membership. You can sign off the live stream, not before you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button, turn on notifications. But if you are interested, I'll show you the platform. I'll show you the courses. I'll show you the tools. I'll show you everything you guys have access to as a member. So you're going to get the, tra the trading chat room, right? The chat room is obviously where the mods and I are from. We open up at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. We stay open until after the market closes. We're with you all day. We're not gone after an hour or two. The mods and I share our screen. We're live talking to you on the microphone during the day. We send out real-time push notifications whenever a mod enters or exits a trade. And we also have the mobile app that lets you still be connected to chat and get the real-time push notifications for alerts when members enter and exit trades, even if you're not in front of your computer. You can see the screen share and listen to the audio commentary directly from your cell phone. The mods and I have been able to maintain a cumulative win rate of just around 80% now going on the last two years. You'll get access to all of that. You also get two private study group sessions with one of our pro traders to ask questions and speed up your learning curve. You get Benzinga Pros, a real-time news feed, live breaking up to the second news alerts right inside chat. You get TradingView's premium charting software, one of the most commonly used charting software is by active traders. The Trade Ideas Scanner, which is the industry standard scanner that will always make sure that you're focused on the hottest stock store in the day so you know what's making new highs, new lows, what has a surge in volume. You also get our simulator from ETNA, lets you trade stocks and options with fake money so you can practice implementing what you're learning in the courses. You get our own proprietary scanner that lets you create custom scans. You get dark pool data, unusual options activity, options flow, stuff that used to only be available, available to professionals, now at the fingertips of TTG members. A trading journal that will track all of your trading, give you the numbers and statistics so you can see what you're doing wrong and where you need to make adjustments. A social sentiment scanner, which will go through Reddit, stock tweets, and Twitter, tell you what ticker symbols are being mentioned most so you can stay ahead of the crowd. Analyst ratings on any stock you're interested in so you'll know exactly how many analysts have a buy, sell, or hold rating. If there's been insider buying or selling, what the short data is, all of that is included. You're also going to get a watch list every day. The mods and I publish a watch list of the stocks we're looking at with a game plan on how we plan on trading them. And then you get all the courses. The courses are a simplified version of what I learned working at the fund in New York. There's beginner courses, advanced courses, options, swing trading, trader psychology, crypto futures, you name it. It's all there. It's all available. There's no upsells for courses. There's no VIP courses that cost more money after you join. You get access to every course as a member when you join for the 1050. You may also get a video library that's got 400 hours of educational video content like workshops and webinars that we conducted with members covering a variety of different topics. And you can also attend these workshops now live once you become a full-time member. Now, guys, listen, it's time you invested in something real, a real platform that can help you reach your goals. Now, what I can't do, I cannot guarantee that you're going to be successful just because you joined your trading group. But what I can guarantee is if you go through our courses, pass our quizzes, and attend a study group, and do not make back the $1,050 at least once during your membership, I'll give you back $2,100. That I can guarantee you. That's how much I stand behind the platform that we've created. If you join here today while I'm on this live stream, you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one mentor session with one of our pro trading mods. Join before midnight, you get the 52% discount. That brings the price from $2212 down to $1050. And you'll also get a brand new free laptop. You don't have to enter your address. You'll get a welcome email with instructions how to claim that free laptop after you join. You just have to go to ttgoffer.com, enter the coupon code TTG121, click apply code. You're good to go. 
If you are a trial member, a previous trial member, or a previous annual member, or if you have any questions at all, send a text message right now to 786-505-4049. Thanks for joining me tonight, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. Smash that like button if you did. Subscribe to our channel. Turn on your notifications. You never want to miss out on any one of these lives. We are always giving you guys education, lessons, market commentary, and trade ideas that can help you become better traders immediately. Have a great night, everybody. I will see you guys all in chat.